Imagine we are basically designing everything in the physical uh, world, like from every single touch point you can imagine. I mean, from even down to the smallest uh, lingerie label, uh, when we made the identity for uh, Marlies Deckers. Actually, great clients, because at that point she was a startup and she paid us with knickers and bras, so <laughs> good client to have. Anyway, um, but... Just to explain a little bit, and actually the reason why we are here. Um, so basically, great slide. I think people should have more basically slides. Um, this is to describe really what we actually do. We do the positioning and the visual branding. So basically, if you think of a hamburger, we are like the bun. <laughs> But if you're eating, you know, buns all day, I mean, you can eat buns all day. It's great, but we're actually really, really hungry. We need to do, we need more than just buns. And what you need is actually, you want to eat the whole burger. I mean, uh, unless you're vegetarian, of course, but you want to eat the whole burger. And what does it mean when I talk about the whole burger? I mean, actually, that we are responsible for the strategic part of the company, we're responsible for the visual look, but in fact, branding now, and the most of branding, is, in, uh, is digital. And it's not only uh, physical. And uh, since a couple of months ago, we had the great opportunity to partner up with uh, Dept uh, digital agencies, so that we both can complement in our um, in complement with each other with the work that we uh, do. We are specialists in visual branding and they're uh, specialists in uh, digital. We don't pretend, I mean, of course we understand what online projects are and we do them and so does uh, DEPT, but we really stick to our specialism and our uh, strength. So, it's good then to meet, to meet, <laughs> to meet, the meat, the juice of the hamburger, which is Daniel. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, nice animations, eh? very digital. Eh? Thanks. Um, and here you go. Thanks. And Daniel will continue the story. Thanks. I will use the stage because I need to see my next slide. I don't know in by heart, so let me get up. So before we met Lisa and Dunbar, we were uh, called the TomTom, TomTom Tom Digital Agency, and we were making 
um, the meat and the salad and, the, and, the, and all the other stuff. But we never thought of the brand and how the brand uh, looks like. And if you look in the digital time, that then the touch points and the brand have to be in sync. So I want to tell you a little bit more about what the opportunity is of uh, working together with Dunbar. So as an agency, we started, um, digital agency, we started making touch points. So we made it an app, we made social media content, we made the website or the web shop. Um, like single touch points, we designed and built them and we put them live. But in re reality, when you interact with a brand, let's say your bank or insurance company, or if you buy Tesla, or if you buy your holiday uh, tickets with Transavia, it's never about one touch point. It's always about the journey. Uh, you start searching online, you book a ticket, you go for your app to the airport, you enter the plane, etc., etc. So actually, all our interactions with brands are not single touch points, but journeys we make. Sometimes the journey is very short, like when you buy a can of beer in a supermarket, the journey is literally like one moment. Uh, but with most brands, the journeys are a bit longer. And we, as an agency, a debt agency, we have the ambition to create those journeys and needed help of Dunbar to, uh, to get this done. Um, so what do we do? Uh, we create the journeys, and I want to give you a few examples of journeys we create and how we think about digital, and uh, I will end with what Dunbar brings to the table. So, for example, we created journeys for insurance companies. So, for example, now if you buy insurance, you buy it online, and then it's very quiet for many, many years. If you forget it, and if you don't forget it, you will switch maybe to a cheaper one, but there's not much going on. While our lives are very different from each other's, um, so we started making a journey for insurer, how you can in insure things on the go. So for example, if you're a DJ and your gear is at home and it's insured at home, you take it out for one day because you're playing at the festival, then you want to insure it for one day. This is a typical example of thinking about branding and journey and not only single touch points. Another example is, for example, um, a journey which we are designing in the web shop of O'Neill. And this is much more than just buying shorts with O'Neill. It's much more about making content, being on social media, being on Instagram, uh, making content which other people can post to Pinterest or Instagram so your brand is discovered. And at the end, the journey ends in this place, but it's really the end of the journey. It's not the beginning, and the journey is much, much bigger. Another journey which we are creating is for an energy company. Same thing. Energy companies don't have much of a journey. You buy your energy contract online, and then it's very quiet for a long time, and then you probably leave or forget about it. Same like with insurance companies. And we also think how we can create a journey which is meaningful for the user, so the journey gets um, more worth for you as a, as a customer of the energy company. So for Ineco, for example, we do that as well. And our last example of a journey which I'm really, really happy about is, an, is a social network for, for truck drivers. So actually, I did a research in the field, because if you're making journeys, you have to understand the per people who are making that journey. So. Um, I don't, I don't know if my slide can go back, but I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it can. So this is an example of a, an app which is made by TVM. They are insuring the trucks, but they don't have a journey with the driver because the driver doesn't insure the truck. That's the company who insures the truck. So we made an app which is very useful for the, for the driver um, and helps those find the best spots to park because parking is always a bit of a hassle when you have a big, big car. Um, and you can find your friends, and you can rate, and you can leave tips. It's like Foursquare combined with Facebook, combined with Twitter kind of a thing. Uh, for truck drivers, and it's working re really well. And this is an example of, again, making something which helps you in the journey of being a truck driver. So let me skip this photo of my, my, myself. Um, and the last journey we are looking into is buying a house. So when we all buy a house, we go to probably to Funda, or if you're some living somewhere else. Um, but if you're buying a new house, your journey is pretty, pretty strange. Somebody else builds, builds a new house for you, and then you buy it, and then you maybe can tweak it a little bit, like, do I want to have a carport, et cetera, et cetera. So we made this platform where you can actually buy your house online, not only search for a house, but also buy it online and also tweak it online. Because if it's being built, all the data is already in there so you can configure it. Like we did in the 90s with SimCity, where you were placing flats and buildings across uh, Greenfield. So this is for BPD, a client of us, where we really reinvent the journey how you buy a house. And through this platform, already 20 houses were sold in the last... Uh, four or five months, uh, four or five, yeah, four or five months. And as you can see, you can kind of add a garage, remove it, add a balcony, uh, change the finish of it, et cetera, et cetera. And, and why is this journey so important? Because in this time, the journey and the touch points in those journeys 
are most of the time totally digital. So for example, with this company, you will get the house, very physical, but the whole journey till that house is digital. Same with Netflix, your journey is almost completely digital. Airbnb, the journey is also mostly digital. And a lot of companies, like Transavi as well, your journey is digital. So the digital touch points, they are the only moments when you can build your brand because you don't have other touch points. Like above the line is kind of declining. People are watching less television. Uh, people are watching less print media where you have above the line opportunities. So it's much more ob about capturing those moments when you have interactions and make them feel branded. And I think Transavia did a great job with Dunbar in making like every step of the journey, when you're booking, when you're searching, when you're downloading the app and when you're going into the airplane and even the airplane itself, that it feels like one and it feels every time like a Transavia experience. Um, and especially for banks, like this is a Raubank app, for, especially for banks, like I didn't go into a bank shop for a long, long time. So my journey with the bank is only this app. So if your app is bad as a bank, you have a big, big problem. And uh, some time ago, this, people were com comment commenting on the Raubank like this, like, guys, your app is really shit. I'm going to change banks. And, and that's like digital is so important now that it's the only place where you can build your brand. And that's the reason. Uh, why we uh, joined Dunbar, which is more into physical f uh, in, and into building the brand identity, because it can help a digital agency who's designing the touch points, making those touch points feel much more like a branded experience, because that's very, very important, especially now. Um, so to finish my talk, um, we are kind of the hamburger, the meat and the salad, etc. Together we are kind of the hamburger, the total experience, and our goal for the future is to become a drive-in. So <laughs> thanks a lot. So, uh, Daniel, to, uh, yeah, we have to do yeah. a triangular uh, thingy yeah. here. Yeah. Um, that was an important message, I think. The only moments you can do your branding is during the digital touch points. For most brands, yes. So yeah, so it depends on the brands, of course. Yeah, but is, most is that yeah. How, how far are the, the companies with that awareness? Um, I would say it's changing quite a bit in the last year, I would say. So, uh, but it's very hard for a company to, which has thousands of people like her bank, to admit that their only value is an app, which felt very small. So we always try to explain brands, if you want to be big, you have to be small and humble. Um, and I think ING does, does a great job with admitting that the app is actually the only valuable thing which they have for the customer, and then using it to kind of promote its services. So I think there are a lot of companies who are who seeing it, but also a lot of who don't see that so much. Because so. banks, weren't the, the examples of the greatest innovators in terms of service. You just yeah. pay a monthly fee and it's yeah. very invisible what I get for it, actually, yeah. Yeah, my, my pass. So that's changing in the banking. Um, and in housing, was that your uh, yeah, case? Yeah, our case. Our because case. that, is, uh, that surprised, surprised me also a little bit because it's, it's very old-fashioned, right, like you said. Yeah. So is that changing in that sector? Yeah, it's changing, uh, although I must admit that this, when we started this project, it wasn't going that well with the house, housing market, so they had to innovate because now it's going so well uh, that they probably won't invest in innovation uh, so easily because you will sell those houses anyway. Uh, but we started this in 2010 when the market was a bit uh, uh, worse, and now uh, we have a great platform. So yeah, even in conservative sectors, you can, you can uh, do something, of course. Okay. And uh, I have a question about picture number 32 in the video. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, is it, uh, is it, it's not a coincidence that you're working together. Is that also because things changing and then more and more clients see that this digital touch point in the hamburger model is becoming the most important yeah. or at least one of them? I think it's like your first question. Actually, most clients that uh, come to Dunbar, the first question is uh, digital. That they, that's digital first. I want an app. Uh, I want an app. <laughs> uh, I want, uh, they want all sorts of things. And um, we can answer these questions, but I think it's best to stay close to who you are and what your strength is. And really, we look really at the identity and the positioning of that company and then work uh, with debt yeah. because they have their uh, strength. And not I don't want to pretend I'm something else. Just work on your strength. So it depends if you need debt or not. Yeah. But is it in, like, mathematically, is there more and more clients that you actually need the digital part? Or is there also still a world where you don't need the, the debt guys? Yeah. yeah because could, there's because this tile, everything becomes digital, no. but obviously not no, everything. Maybe, maybe, I think. To, maybe to add to this is like, if you are, uh, so if your touch points are changing to more digital touch points, yep. so if you're, like you had shops, you had 
print, you had, I don't know, call centers, and it's moving to digital. And at one point, your brand has to move, uh, change as well. Not only yep. your touch points, not only your means. So I think Transavia, where Dunbar works with for, is a great example, which really made the brand also digital first. Not only the touch points and the, and the, and the website, etc., but also the brand. And so it, the brand helps you communicate in a digital channel. So if you look at the Transavia plane, I really love it. I didn't work on it, but you see it's the really iPhone, plane, yeah. you see the, like the app button underneath it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a very simple example, but it works very well. So this, this is something which is happening from both sides. So. And in more and more cases. So uh, yeah. is it true every brand has to become at some stage digital? I think so, yes.